Hello everyone, I am Miguel Sanchez, thank you for coming and welcome to another episode of Moshi Monsters Biography. It is Friday, September 25th, 2020. Happy Friday everybody, we are a partial weekend, woohoo! Uh, thank you so much for joining in today. And we have a new subscriber to the channel, welcome to the channel, Vakpak, all the way from Russia. Wow, you subscribed to my channel, thank you for subscribing. Uh, unfortunately he has no subscribers, so uh, I'm not sure... Uh, uh, I'm not sure he, he, he needs to show up, but he is new to the he is new here, so that's pretty much something. Anyways, uh, by the way, thank you for subscribing, Vakpak. If you want to go check his channel, the link will be on the top right corner of the screen. But if I can't find it, I'll leave it in the description below. So thank you for subscribing, Vakpak. You made you made the channel grow, especially around the world. So thank you for subscribing. All right, enough of this. Let's get right into the episode. Are you ready? Because we, we're going to we're, we're going back to the bad side of Mochi Monsters, and this as we take a look at the villain and one of the villains of the franchise. So. Whenever well, you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. Here we go. Episode 55, that's where we're at right now. As we start the letter C with the clock leader. Oh my gosh. This is definitely no good. Uh, you're you're definitely not going to miss out on this. So, if you're ready, I hope we are. And if you have to see our last episode, episode 54, where we took a look at Buster Bubble Chops. The link is on the top corner of the screen. We need to go watch it right now. Especially, right, especially with this, it's the time we go take a look at the clock leader. So if you're ready, let's get started. So, who is the clock leader? Well, the clock leader is a mysterious head of clock, and that's pretty much it. All I gotta say right here, looking at the character's has name, clock leader, occupation leader of clock. He, he debuted in the Super Weapon Showdown, and relations include Dr. Shane Club, Simon Growl, Sweet Tooth, and Big Chief Tiny Head. And about, uh, so, so about, uh, Big Chief Tiny, so, so that's pretty much it. And, and for, for Dr. Strange Club, Cyber Girl, and Sweet Tooth, they'll be all be discussed in future episodes. As for Big Chief Tiny Head, I already talked about him on episode 28 of the series. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely go watch it right now before coming back to watch the remainder of this one. But anyways, uh, let's get right to it. Let's get to the fiction. Super Motion Mission, Season 1. Super Weapon Showdown. He calls Mr. Growl naive. Hang on, is this not what I signed up for? Monstro City will be destroyed? Everything in it? Says Cyber Girl. Exactly. Come, come, Mr. Growl. What were you expecting? Said the clock leader. I uh, know. Uh, for the fiction. Uh, saying the fiction, Super Motion Mission Season 2. Big Top Bounty Who? Candy the Cloud contacts him, revealing their true identity to viewer only. Leader is pleased the plans go well. Oh my gosh. Uh, over in Season 2, Mission 9. M M Missing got a star. After rescuing the Zoshlings, he tells Dr. Strange Club to shut up and hits the button. As seen on uh, as as pictured down below on your screen, and um, as the as the clock leader is sitting down, looking angry, frustrated. <sighs> That's pretty much it. No, I gotta say about it here. Finally, cosmic countdown. The Zoshlings and you walk into him when he is scolding Doctor Strange Glove for having failed him too many times and not being worthy of the clock name anymore. Upon upon noticing you, he orders Strange Glove to capture you, but. Uh, but Strange Glove left. Not no. Uh, uh, much to Leader's frustration. After a malfunction of his chair, Leader takes his leave. As you have yet to figure out how to stop the weapon, and I'll talk about the Doctor Strange Glove in a future episode. So please keep an eye out for that. Uh, looking at the personality habits, Clock Leader is a bit of a ham. Whatever they do must be big and devastating. As they speak with a booming voice and smashes buttons and tables to regain attention, technology often fails them. They have a friendly relationship with Dr. Strange Glove, even after saying Dr. Strange Glove is out of the group, probably because Strange Glove was a founding member of the organization. Ouch. That's definitely not good. For the design, only a yellow dishwashing glove with a wooden stick shoved in his, in is visible, while the rest of them is blocked by the back of their chair, leaving the viewer with only that of and their booming voice. Whatever, whatever Fort Worth size they would have as a visible hand may be an enhancement instead of a limb, remains undisclosed. There appears to be a parody of Dr. Claw from the Inspector Gadget series, who is always blocked from you with his chair, only showing his arm to emote. I know, it's very true. And finally for the trivia, they are they are referred to with, with he pronounced, or wait, wait, with he pronounced on page 12 of 100% motion cards, implying that an actual rule for them was established. However, this might have just been a mistake by the author. Mm. I know, that's pretty much it. So that's everything you need to know about the clock leader. Continue final thoughts and stats. Final thoughts and ratings for the for, for clock leader. Uh, I don't know what clock leader could do, but in the end, he's definitely the worst of all time. And I don't know. And the clock leader is always shown 
at the back side, at the back of the chair is the clock leader. Here, yeah, the head is, uh, the body is never shown, never seen, always invisible. Yes, hey, yes, the clock leader's body is never shown. So unfortunately, Torbal Cater, we're not going to be seeing him ever again. Therefore, on a scale of 1 to 10, I rate clock leader is with a score of 2 out of 10. Totally horrible, very, very horrible, and that's everything you need to know. But yeah, pretty much it. That's all I gotta say about the clock leader, but, however, that's only my opinion. You can feel free to agree or disagree with this, let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Pay much it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. Someone just crashed into my party. Sorry. But anyways, uh, that's the clock leader for now. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this. Look at the clock leader here on Motion Monster Biography. Please uh go check out some of our other cool videos here on the channel and make sure you make sure you mark your calendars for October 18th when the National Journal officially concludes. So please stay tuned. However, all things must come to an end, and we hope you guys enjoyed the show as usual. So thank you so much for watching. I'm because session yourself, and I'll be back later with another new episode of Motion Monsters Biography. Hope you're enjoying this special Friday as well, but I'll be back later for episode 56. Where we're going to be taking a look at Callie out of the fishy set, the second to, to, to come out of the fishy set. So please stay tuned. You do not want to miss it. The Valley Mermaid is coming up in the next episode. We'll see you for episode 56 very, very soon. Until the time comes, I am your man, the Moshi Master, Miguel Sanchez. Reminding you to please leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications so don't miss a new video. Please subscribe to the notifications so don't miss another new video from me as well. We're on to 400 subscribers. I want to thank you all for tuning in today. I'll be guys such as for Motion Monsters Biography. Peace out. Have a great day. And I'll see you on another video. Take care, guys. And have a nice day. Happy Friday, everyone. See you on another video. Woo! Woo! See you, everyone, guys. Laters.